I'd like to show you how another type of system works on this particular type of foundation because we tear these out on a regular basis. And, and when we do, we like to show the customer how it worked or didn't work and why they had to replace it. We tear out this type of system with, in this particular type of foundation on a regular basis. And what we like to do is demonstrate to customers how this system, well, how it was supposed to work and how it actually really works. And it becomes pretty clear why they needed to replace the system. So this gutter would sit right there. Now to simulate water coming through where basements leak would be right at that corner where the footing and the, and the wall meet. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna run some water back here, nice and slow. And if you can see underneath, it doesn't go directly into the gutter the way that the way they would lend, have you believe. You can see water's flowing underneath it. Now, if you could see how much water's flowing underneath this right now, and that's how seepage occurs. Imagine this system around your entire foundation, and when you get a heavy rain, letting that kind of water flow directly underneath it, and you can see it's pouring right down across and filling up the area underneath the floor. So I'm going to stop the flow here and now this thing should be filled with water if it's if it's working on how it's portrayed to work and if you look it's completely dry inside. So water would have to fill up to here underneath and around your entire floor the water would have to get to this level before any water would actually travel through this type of drainage system. With this particular type of system on, on the scenario we have here, a traditional three-piece foundation, and the floor is a bit thicker than normal code. We got about a five, five and a half inch floor here, and it was over sitting on that footing and up against the wall just, just the way that you want it. Now, if you're gonna do this type of system and it, and it would come in, it would sit here and go all the way around the entire perimeter, and then they would re-cement back over top of, the, of where the flange is. So in order to prevent that, what, what these systems tend to do is, is that they'll take some stone in order to raise their system up. By elevating the gutter this way, water just travels through the stone and floods the aggregate level underneath your floor and around your entire floor. The water level has to get up much higher before any of it will actually travel through this type of waterproofing system. If you think about it, the stone's actually a better drainage system than the gutter. And now they would pour it back so you get about an inch, inch and a quarter. Building code states, if you remove part of your basement floor, if you replace it, it has to be to a minimum of three and a half inches. Where this drainage sits is where your floor would have to be, so it keeps you from being able, being able to get that thickness back that would be code compliant. So you really have to check with your town building inspector to see that your particular waterproofing system is going to be code compliant for your specific type of foundation. Uh, in this scenario here, you definitely would have some serious questions to ask because you very easily could end up with a, with a code violation. Okay, we're getting putting our hose down. This is a super test for any waterproofing system. We get up to full velocity. We're also doing it while our Supercrete product, the cement that we put back, is still wet. If we were doing this test on some of those drainage systems that sit on top of your footing, right now we'd be seeing big puddles of water out around our feet over on top of the floor. And you can see this is blasting and nothing. We could, we could leave this on permanently and uh, you'd never get water on top of the floor. One of the important aspects of a waterproofing system is that you have peace of mind that the system that you've installed is going to handle whatever kind of weather comes your way. So if you have any questions or concerns about your basement, by all means give us a call or you can go to our website americandry.com and you can always leave a question in the comments down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So till next time, have a dry basement.